many people call veganism and cult on YouTube. But let me go back to the history of a cult. What's actually a cult? That's actually what it be. A cult is one is a, comes from the word cultus, a group of people that do together a lot of different rituals in a religion like way without consent and without thinking and following one leader one status quo that for, uh, that uh, is actually in ascension is it the same as one cult or one cultus one commodity one cult culture culture one human culture so the word cult is not something very weird or offensive in its ascension not in definition the word cultus can be offensive if the rituals be crazy but it is also one highly politic word highly politician aka criminal word um, <laughs> if we look to today's western societies whether he, and also some new first world societies like China, China, whether it's more and more meat and go to do the same kind of insane rituals like we do. Serious? Think you that barbecue is one? Is a barbecue something normal? Think you serious? Let me think about this. We put a pui of meat on hot fire it stove or um, fire we grill it seems this not like a sacrifice ritual to the gods of ancient Roman seems it not like one I want to take the offers of Zeus rituals <laughs> or something like that and was not one of the reasons in the Bible if I don't can and you don't miss it that Babylon become killed because my God because he wants not that their sacrifice and eat the corpses of other anim uh, animals that humans don't do uh, insane sexual activities and that are being not barbarians that respect nature in its laws that not respect nature in its laws and only want to give about their ego and want to conquer. If I not forget me, is that not what capitalism is? The essence of capitalism? Grow for the sake of grow. Only for the sake of grow. In knowing that we have limited amounts of materials that we can use on this planet have we an have we lost our minds with that whole grow for a sake of grow not caring in the world not caring about anything we cannot harm something is that not like a religion like thinking capitalism 
dank, dank, dank aan ze. Zeker voor de zeker of graf. You supporting a system that supports sake for the sake of growth. This is the philosophy of a cancer cell. <laughs> Echt, ik zoe. Now take it, take it, take it, take it, take a little bit more. And believe that they're, be, that they're being civilized. Seems to me like a religion like thinking. Is it not a very cult religion like thinking? Well, it supports actually the root of all evil. Money is more, more superior and more great than you and me. Money is more, is king in this world, in the world, in the first world, in human delusion, in human matrix. Because that is where we live. We live in a kind of matrix. We live in a kind of matrix. I want to give you the red pill. You know that movie? I've been the one that gives you the red pill. I give I me mean, not the one that give you the blue pill. I want to hold you out this cult and see you, let you see the reality of where we live in. Ooh, like, because we live in a delusional, insane world where we think that we can do anything and that don't hurt something, that we have to that others have to take us even if we do insane. If we do act like monsters, like tormentors, or like rapists, like all kinds of this disgusting parasites, that we have to protect any human being, and that other living beings be less. That seems to me like an insane cult-like mindset. That's a dogma. Just like there are half in the religions. There's an error in the thinking of people. An error. A despicable error. Just like there in the, was in the mind of Claudius Concretus, one of the sickest persons in the Roman Empire. Bible. God is not in the Bible, people. Don't worship some book that is created by humans. God is in his creations. He is in the plants, in the planet, the animals, the whales, in the dolphins, in the cows, in the chickens, in the blue in China. He is not in a book. He is there. He is all living creatures. God has created in Genesis the planets, the earth and humans. So if humans destroy humans, the planets, the animals, then you murder God piece by piece. This is one of for all the religious people. For all the religious people in the world, I love to say it me. I love God. I love God. I love God. I uh, I write, I have all my hoko with my stickers of God of Jesus that say peace to the world, peace to the world, peace to the world. This is reality, people. <laughs> As if, if you don't do something actually to change it, then it don't matter what you say. The only thing that matters. Is your actions. This only thing what matters is what you stand for. And if you want to become vegan today, and I think that's a very great idea, then you have to know that this can do far more than any other choice you ever can make to make this world a better place. Because the meat industry is the most biggest destructor of, ca of the capitalism and demon monster of any system, of anything. Sake. They take any. They take all the food of 
all the poor people in Africa, the do they take all the other stuff from the other animals and feed it to them. We drown the whole world. We have we murder lowest estimated statics of this one is actually from the Satan and demon industry themselves, the Hitler industry. Six. 60 billion innocent land animals 90 billion innocent marine animals only for God's sake of disgusting disposal animal corpses a whole day long it is not your rights based on your traditions your beliefs and your habits to ignore animals their freedom so that you can harm them, slave them and rape them. Slavery and the slave trade have been abolished. It is not about only the animals that we enslaved and where we cross the lines of the human rights laws. We not only cross the lines of the human rights laws, but we also cross the lines of the animal rights rules and the laws of biodiversity of animals and species. How do you think from that? Laws, let us say, rights mean for anything or anything for nothing, for nobody. The rights is not for only for rich people in in the western world the rights is not only for people that can buy a car or can buy something like that raw rules is for any other not only for people who live in the rich countries raw laws and privileges that's what we have we have laws and privileges only for people who live in the first world. We have nothing rights. Nothing lies. That's a, that's a very big lie. We have nothing rights. Never get. Nothing what? Ever. Because our cult, society, cult, cultists, Cult, cultus, culture. Don't want to give you that. They want you to hold you in the matrix, in your prog new computer program where you can work for them and give them more money so that they become more rich. You are, they have actually turned you into one corporate slave in the end of the year they make anything a little bit more expensive and more expensive and more expensive so that you have to work more for them and that you have less time for yourself and then over a couple of years only the rich people can do what they want and the whole world is a slave of the rich people because the rich people, they get what they want. Because they have the powers in their hands. They can choose if you want or you die today or you stay alive. The rich corporate industries, they're being the enemies. The best, cor the best industries if we look to it in the whole, be the small industries, the big industries that cannot control themselves and their treats, the people that being for them, the people that want that uh, have been. As want their yes, 